In a vocational school, accidents that cause medical emergencies are not uncommon. They can occur in a classroom, at lunch, or in shops. This video will walk Blackstone Valley Tech instructors and staff on what to do during a medical emergency and how to guide the students and personnel around you to help too. In the event of a medical emergency, everyone around the victim has an important job to help save a person's life. You must respond quickly and effectively. As a BBT staff member, instruct a trusted adult or student to find the nearest school phone and dial 2222. This is the school's line for any emergency. The main office will pick up, call 911, and send help to where you are. After sending someone to call 2222, quickly designate a second trusted adult or student to be responsible for finding a nearby adult to assist in the medical emergency. Having more adult help in the room of the emergency is always helpful. Next, ask another trusted adult or student to run and find the nearest AED. Acquiring an AED early in an emergency can save a person's life. This video will instruct you on how to find and use an AED later on. The fourth and final job is for everyone else. Vacate the area. Instruct all students besides yourself and the trusted adults around you to quickly leave the room. This is crucial to prevent crowding and panic and allows for medical help like paramedics to reach the victim safely. Remember, there are several people who can assist the victim already inside the building. BVT's shop and official nurses, along with the campus officer, might be your best immediate resource for help. If they are in close proximity to the emergency, send a trusted adult or student for their help. The next portion of this video will instruct you on how to check the body and attempt to resuscitate life in the event that the victim is unresponsive. First, strongly tap and shout at the victim in case the victim has fainted and can be woken up. If no verbal response is given, proceed to check the victim's pulse. If no pulse is found, you will need to perform CPR. If you are not CPR certified, a video will be linked below that will instruct you on how to perform CPR for future knowledge. But in this event of an actual crisis, call 911. Ask the 911 dispatcher for instructions on performing CPR. Know that 911 is a resource and the dispatcher can help you save a life. If you have started to perform CPR, one person at all times should be performing CPR until first responders arrive. At this point, you should have strongly tapped the victim attempted to wake the victim with shouts, and checked for the victim's pulse. If no signs of life were found, you should have quickly started to perform CPR with or without 911 guidance until first responders arrive. By this time, the adult or student you sent earlier should have come back with an AED. AEDs, or an automatic external defibrillator, can be found in eight different locations in the school, seven on the walls, and one AED in the nurse's office. An AED is used to correct irregular heartbeats with an electric shock. Locate the nearest AED to your office or classroom and remember the location for future emergencies. Be mindful that AEDs are completely safe for you and the victim. Never be afraid to use an AED as employing it quickly may save a person's life. Inside, you will find the AED, two chest pads attached to wires, and a razor. Before you turn on the AED, Remove any clothes in the way of the victim's chest. The AED requires direct contact with the skin. Next, quickly assess the state of the victim's chest. If the victim has excessive hair on the chest, remove the plastic covering from the razor and shear the hair away. If the victim has a medicine patch on the chest, peel the patch off and wipe the residue clean. If the victim has a pacer device found near the collarbone of the victim, recognized by a noticeable lump in the skin, remember to place the corresponding AED pad below the pacer device instead. Activate the AED by pressing the large and identical button in the center of the AED device. The AED will have easy to understand audio prompts and the device will guide you on how to operate the AED effectively. In a real emergency, you will only need to follow the directions spoken to you by the recordings on the AED, but for the purposes of this video, we will watch an AED being used and applied to a victim. Remove the plastic from the sticky pads. Place one pad on the victim's upper right chest and the second stuck on the victim's left rib cage. Quickly insert the wire into the AED device and wait to listen to the AED's next instructions. The AED will scan the victim's pulse and determine whether or not the AED needs to administer a shock. Stand clear of the victim now. The AED is sensitive and in order for the AED to effectively determine if a shock is needed, no other person should be in contact or near the body. 
If this is not done, the AED might detect a different heartbeat. In this first scenario, a shock has been recommended. Continue to stand clear of the victim's body. Press the large identifiable button on the AED to allow the AED to administer the shock and continue to stand clear of the body. After a few moments, a shock will be administered. After the shock has been administered, follow the AED's next directions. If you are instructed to continue CPR, continue CPR. If a shock is not advised, listen to the AED's next instructions and follow them. You may be asked to continue to perform CPR. During a medical emergency, it is important to act quickly and efficiently in order to potentially save a person's life. Remember to send someone to call 2222, find another adult, and find the nearest AED. Remember to next vacate the area and to tap and shout at the victim to find any kind of response. If no response is given, check for the victim's pulse. If no pulse was found, perform CPR as immediate and early as possible until an AED is brought back to the victim or first responders arrive. If you have an AED, quickly open the victim's clothes and clear any hair or accessories that may be in the way of the AED's pads. Turn on the device and follow the audio instructions. Remember that the best chance for a victim's survival is to act fast and to act early.